Welcome to Salt Lake City, where the mighty Utah student section is ready to turn this place into a cauldron of noise. Rice Eccles Stadium, home to the Utah Utes. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the BYU Cougars, taking on another team from the Big 12 in an intra-conference matchup, the Utah Utes. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. BYU about to kick it off as we get this game started. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So the Utah Utes offense will start this game off. They recruit against each other. They live next door to each other in the case of the fans, and that's why this is an intense rival. Intense, and it doesn't matter. They've been in the same conference. They haven't been in the same conference. They, they both, they've been independent. There's been, they've been all over the place with this, but you know what it is? It's a game that matters every single year to both these universities. You're right, David. They always just seem to find each other, right, on the collision course. And BYU-Utah, to me, is one of the most physical games in all of college football every single year, and you know this one's not going to be any different. On the run. It's Bernard. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. This clash dates all the way back to the late 1800s and it's carried on through days of independence, changes in conference affiliation, but the constant is disdain and contempt for the other side. You're right, Reese. It's pretty wild because the rivalry dates back to the same year the state of Utah was founded in 1896. That's how long these two teams have been going. This thing is historic, and every year, David, it's an incredible football. And I love what Reese said, too. Though. They've changed conferences. They've been independent. Whatever it takes, they want to play each other because they want the bragging rights in the state of Utah because it means a heck of a lot. And the Utes will snap it on first and ten. Motion from the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Throws for the tight end. The freshman just a little too much on that one. I love the decision by the quarterback. He found the open man, just don't love the throw. Got to be a little bit more accurate, make it easier on your target. Offense in an empty set. Wilson to pass. Finds a tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. you got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The aerial assault continues. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one, they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon. And there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Gonna run it. It's Bernard. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Oh man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, when you get penetration by that defense right away, and there's no way to cut at all for that back, he gets destroyed right away. No way that play was going to be successful. Way too much penetration. Eighth play on this opening drive coming up, and they need a third down conversion. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he makes the catch. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. 
Well, wow, what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. They get him down, but not before he picks up five down to the 17-yard line. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sailor. you got to really make the defense think it's pass. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving through. The 11th play of this opening drive, they face a third and short. Wilson will throw. Fires to the right. He's got it. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Well, they caught the defense off guard with that play right there. Here they are in field goal range, third and short. You know, the odds say it's going to be a run. Instead, they throw it. They get a big play now setting up first and goal. They've been great on third down. Now to finish the deal on first and goal. The option look. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They'll keep it on the ground to the left, sniffing the goal line. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Try to march their way in. And he'll be brought down. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you've got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Polly. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. Just drives it between the uprights. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it, so you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. After putting up a three-spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So BYU's offense will get the ball for the first time. These two dudes who both come off the edge can wreck an offensive stage, Jesse. And these quarterbacks better have an internal clock working today. If you hold on to the football, you are getting sacked. Best athletes on the field are defensive linemen, and when you got guys like this that can get after the quarterback, points will be at a premium. The last time these two drew battle lines, it was BYU with the ethereal experience winning a close win. And BYU took a lot of pride because they wore Utah down in that game, and they know they got to try to do that again in this one. Yeah, and now Utah's heard about it for a whole year, and all they've thought about is payback and winning the state of Utah. Grab behind the line. It's Roberts. And he'll step across the sideline after making a good gain on that one. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. Grab behind the line. It's Roberts. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. 
they were really hopeful he could make a guy or two miss and pick up the first down, but he comes up a little short. Yeah, and it's great defense. It's defense understanding where the sticks are, not missing tackles, getting the guy on the ground quickly. Really nice job by the defense understanding the situation. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wants to bring it back. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Going to the ground. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Wilson to pass. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. That is a highly efficient way to move the chains, and now they are threatening inside the 40. And he is just engulfed in the line by this giant defensive tackle. And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's one-on-one. -on -one. Stop the run first. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Pittman. Makes a catch and knockdown. Nice completion. Nice short game. Now it sets up third down. And wait a minute. Third down now becomes we're going to go for it on fourth down anyway. So it really doesn't matter that much. Great job getting a little chunk. Now we get to go have some fun. Now facing a third and long. From the gun. Wants to pass. Wide open downfield. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. The Utes are flying down the field. The give to the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Wilson will throw. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. He's looking to throw on third and short. And it's caught! Touchdown, Utah! And it's so underrated, the, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to the nice touchdown. Yes. Well, the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They took it 71 yards down the field. And they finish it by firing one in for the 13th of the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Look 
looking deep down the right side. And that'll be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down is coming up. That's an example of the offensive coordinator trying to be aggressive and trying to take a shot. Now, the offense isn't able to click on that play, but moving ahead in the second half, it's important they continue to dial up these big plays. You want to stay aggressive. You want to keep testing this second. Dropping back, it's Retzlaff. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's throwing the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. They punted on their opening drive, and now they need a third down conversion to avoid punt, punt. From the gun, wants to pass. He looks that one in nicely. Really nice job by the defense there. Trying to force the quarterback to throw the football in front of you and allow your guys to square up and make a tackle out in space. you got to force the ball carrier to do something special after the catch. Not able to do it there, so really nice tactic by the defense. BYU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. Second down coming up. It's a draw. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive line. They want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest. It makes them realize they got to play the run, too. A great play call. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Unloads quickly. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Unloads to the wideout. And the pass, it's picked off! Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. This offense lining up now at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. They're setting up the screen. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back in the ball. It's not just going to be on handoffs. They're certainly going to line them up in different places. You can throw them the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. We're trying to get them going back this offense has a second down play. Takes the handoff. It's Martin. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Grimm and making the backfield for a tackle for a Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They're trying to get to it. 
Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Looks as if BYU will have to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And the punt will hit at the 7, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Wide receiver now comes in motion. RPO complete to open the drive. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. So after the first down run, here's second down. Wide receiver shows motion. Now the play fake. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Wilson to pass. Feeling some heat. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And the youth send out the punt unit. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. Rides to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. BYU will bring the punt team on the field. They got two of them blocked it. And after the block punt and all that followed, they'll start this drive inside their 30. The Utah offense returns for ready to go back on the attack. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Utah has the lead here. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. Now, the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. The gift to the back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. It's first and ten from the 13. 
Wide out in motion. Got his man quick. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Wilson will throw. He got it. And he goes down after making the grab. Picks up a few, but still short of the first down. We're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Looking to throw for it. Fires into the end zone! And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. He was on target with his first kick, and this one ought to be easy from 20 yards away. It is good! And that lead grows even bigger. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defense a line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking for a man. It's Retzlaff. Throws to the wideout. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. They'll throw it on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find your rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here. Fast motion from the offense. Off the RPO complete. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great way. The play-action fake. Fires to the wideout. He makes a catch. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his protection. They go to the ground. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Small game. I know. Again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. 
BYU right back to the line. They'll keep it on the ground. On the move at the 30. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through, and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they can be successful on offense. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit. Right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. After the misfire now on second down. Looking to throw, it's Retzlaff. Fires deep for the end zone. And good coverage there and knock it away and deny the score. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away, pass incomplete. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires left. Snags it. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. And the defense has to be kicking themselves for allowing a first down there. You're just maybe going to give them a few yards and let them set up for a field goal. Instead, you let them move the chains, and now they're knocking on your door first and goal. The Cougars will try to punch it in on first and goal. Trying to barge in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple here. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job on this defense. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. And he takes it in for a score. Touchdown, BYU! I can hear the defensive coordinator in the next booth yelling, wrap up, you have to wrap up. Bring your feet, four points of contact. You hear all those stuff from your defensive coaches. But you know what? Sometimes the guy's just better than you. He makes a play and gets in the end zone. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Utah has it back, and the offense coming onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to... And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. And now to try to put things in motion on second and long from the 15. Wilson to pass. Quickly complete. Oh, there might have been trouble if they had knocked him down so quickly. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. Now on third and 10, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. 
Pocket starts to collapse. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. A defender was right there now. Oh, you know what time it is when the defense gets that stop on third down. Fist up in the air. Nice job getting to the quarterback, putting some pressure on him, Number hitting him, forcing the incompletion. Fourth down, baby. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive. Getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success, we got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back to your go-to plays. That's now got you some momentum back in your face. Good timing on the quick out. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. He can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. BYU lines up quickly. Off the play fake on first down downfield nice pitch and catch there and they'll have enough for the first down and that's why play action is going to be big in this game you saw how it just freeze the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field but how about this guy after the catch right so hard to bring down what a weapon motion from the offense Caught in the backfield. It's Roberts. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. Hey, on offense, you got to know where the play is all. That one there, nowhere to go with it after he caught the football. You start trying to juke guys. You start trying to run backward. This ain't high school anymore. You used to be able to make that play years ago. You're not doing it here in big time college football. Not good. They're going to throw it again. Pulls it in. It's green. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. And there is no question they should just keep letting this guy throw the ball. He's five for five on this drive. They've only run five offensive plays, and he's already got him down here by the goal line. Let him keep chucking. And the Cougars have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts it down. And the quarterback knew that that counter run play was going to be successful. He did a nice job counting the box before the snap. He knew he had good numbers. He knew he had good angles and blocking. So that is a greenlit play from the get-go. Hand it off to the it. They give him the rock again on second and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cougar! Mm -hmm. Defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. On to attempt the try. And the extra point puts them on top by one. They march 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. On the run, it's Bernard. Nifty little dance step. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. 
I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll run play action. Makes the catch. It's Kane. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Caught in the backfield. It's Keithy. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Hey, we're getting close to halftime, and it looks as if the big fella wants to be all over the highlights. Goodness <laughs> gracious, he, he is open. When he leaves the huddle, apparently he's open. A ton of catches already early in this ball game. They are featuring him and finding him. They'll run it. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wilson will throw. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it's knocked away. Downfield, the DB getting a hand in there. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. We like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. They're bringing heat. And they got him for the sack. That is a gut punch through the offense because they're in dime personnel. They're only rushing four guys. You've got five offensive linemen. You've got the option of bringing other people in to help give your QB time. And this offense, not good enough. The Utes will call Number on their punt team. They'll look to pin them deep. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. That's caught, it's Hill. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Man, and tight ends in today's modern college football are so difficult to stop because they're so much more athletic than they used to be. Today, they're just like big wide receivers. So defensively, how do you stop it? Do you have someone who has the physical dimensions to match up with this guy one-on-one? -on -one? You might not, and if you don't, are you comfortable putting a slower linebacker on him, or do you want to put a smaller DB that might not be able to tackle him? It's a real difficult puzzle to figure out. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. Grab near the sticks, it's green. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. The Cougars with the first and 10. He wants to throw it again. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Looking downfield, it's Redslap. Throws to the tight end. Complete to the right. 
Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Love what they did there, putting the big fella in the slot, letting him use his ability to get downfield and create some space and find the soft spot in the zone. No doubt. You got the big fella in the slot, so you get your matchup. You know it's zone coverage. You know you can put it up out there and let him go make a play. That is a recipe for success. And he's got it! Touchdown, BYU! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, it's 21 to 13. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. Nice move to stay on his feet. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. And the youths want to pick up the tempo. Wilson to pass. Coming after it. They get it up, rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. He's looking to throw. Unloads it left. And his throw is incomplete. He's now third down. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. They'll test the right side. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Timeout, BYU. The Utes will punt it away on fourth down. In punt formation to kick it away. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. Guys, it's been an entertaining first half, and not a lot of time left to put some more points on the board. No, but you got this possession right here to maybe go into the half tied up. So good first half, but a great way, Jesse, to end this first half. Yeah, you'd love to take that momentum into the second half. And listen, this offense practices two men at every single week for this exact situation. They'd love to be able to go generate a few more points before taking it into the locker room. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. This time, it's complete. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Well, that helped the completion percentage, but the idea was yards after the catch, and it didn't happen. Great job on defense, too. See ball, get ball. They saw exactly when that ball was spit out. You saw the defense fly to the field. You got him downfield. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a group. Fires one high and deep. And he bats it away. It falls incomplete. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air to force it in. Second down for this offense. After the 
incompletion. They go back up top. Escapes the sack. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Give that guy a lot of credit, man. He was able to somehow avoid that sack, but nobody open downfield throws it away. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Scanning the field, it's Rhett's left. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. And a nice grab there. Big pickup down to the 35-yard line. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. BYU with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Shoots it to the left. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Ooh, there's, there's an example, Jesse, of a receiver making this quarterback look bad. Most of the time, make it look good and cover up for him. All those balls y'all don't throw online, but... That would hit him in a pretty good spot. He needs to come down there. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Using the quick game. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. They love nothing better than to add a three ball here before the break. This one will be a 43-yard field goal attempt from the left hatch. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, between the coaches who have matched wits in this game and the players and the unforgettable moments, BYU-Utah is must-see TV, and today is no different. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that, let's send it back to our guys in the booth to see how the battle between Utah and BYU plays out. BYU will try to boot it deep to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so his first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Through the air, it's Rhett's lap. Gets it out quickly. Well, it's a nice job by the defender there, closing the gap on the wide receiver. He's going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a bit. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. And that pass is intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And the offense came out aggressively here in the second half, but they can't put the drive together and spin it up on the turnover. I'll tell you, this defense has a lot of athletes. They've got a lot of guys with ball skills. If you put the football anywhere around them, their vicinity, their ability to catch the football, they'll come down with it. This quarterback has got to be way more careful here in the second half. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Utes! 
That is exactly what most offenses will do. Big momentum play. My defense creates a turnover. I'm being aggressive. I'm going for a big score, the big play down the field. They get rewarded. They get the big passing touchdown. Now they'll try the two-point conversion and try to crawl within three. Trying to bully their way in. He gets it in there again, scored the touchdown, got the two. He's doing his part to mount the comeback. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. It's so hard to force fumbles. And when you do, you so badly want to get it. You're crawling. You do whatever you can to get there as a defender. But the offense fortunate enough to cover it back. They'll try to pop the draw. Finds a crease at the 20. Tackled there by the defense. Really nice play call there on second and long by the offensive coordinator. He was able to get a lot of that yardage back by running the football, and now, of course, it sets up a third and manageable situation. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. Looking downfield, it's Retzlaff. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. Looks as if BYU will have to punt it away. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. Let's see what he can do with it. Makes a move. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down here. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. Just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage. Anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Wilson will throw. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. 
On third and long, he has to throw for it. The quarterback's a little more on target there. Maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion now. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for And this field goal team has been busy. This kicker comes out for the third time tonight. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And the kick is good, and guys, he never sells a tie ball game. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Well, they try to go with draw. They didn't catch the defense blitzing, so it wasn't a great look anyway. But up front, they just got beat regardless. And that back, David, had nowhere to go. They had nowhere to go. But this offensive linemen, you've got to set and you've got to invite those defensive linemen up the field and kind of push them by. And, and you could tell they didn't do that. They didn't create any holes. There was really nowhere for him to go. you got to give him that first little hole, and then maybe he can make a move. So the offensive line needs to do a better job. Man, oh man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so the running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have it. BYU will bring the punt team on the field. Now don't forget, and I'm sure he hasn't, he had one blocked earlier. Not going to risk a return here, he'll make the fair catch. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. After the incompletion, here comes second and ten from the 32. The give to the single back. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Wilson to pass. Looking to the big tight end. A strike downfield. Off he goes. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped. A terrific run after the catch. That route is a man-beater, and the quarterback knew exactly where to go with it. He got the look he wanted, put it out in front of the receiver, let him do the rest. Yards after the catch, setting up first and goal. And the youth have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Second and goal for this offense. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Utah! They look finished, but they're all the way back, and they have the lead. 
one of the areas they really focused on this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. You know, as a defense, you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot. But that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it happen, breaking off the huge game. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. They gave themselves room to operate with that first play. Now first down from the 37. The RPO, fire complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Fires to the wide out. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And that's your goal, separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make give him something to think about. Physical jar that football and knock it out. Nice job by the defender. Back to pass. It's Retzlaff. Throws for the tight end. Complete downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. BYU right back to the line. They'll throw it from the red zone. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. On first and goal, let's see if BYU can score here. Pushes ahead. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great job by the defense. you got to understand it's physical time, right? They want to run the football and they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the balls. They lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Martin. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. He'll pull it on the read. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. Decision time right here. I like going for it and playing on the road. You have an opportunity to take the crowd out of it a little bit here. Why not just line up quickly and just try to run the ball? Yeah, stay aggressive. I mean, you want to shut these people up. You want to quiet them down, but field goals don't do that very often. Try to go for the touchdown right here. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. The official says no good. 
After that miss, still a 70-point game, guys. That's just the chip shot. That's just the swivel they got to make it. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and it. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Line getting set on second down. Wilson will throw. Gets it out fast. Back was made, but not until he gets the first down. They pick up the first down the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive runs. Positive yards, hand the football off, and you set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Got it behind the line. It's Park. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Now, coach said to never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. This offense set up with a second and short. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Hard-earned yards, man. You've got to get these first downs any way you can. Sometimes it's not going to be easy, and you can't just do it conventionally and handing it off. This offense is going to have to be creative. Football is a game of inches, and you've just got to find the angles to give yourself an advantage. That creative play call right there really helped them out. The give from the gun. At the 20, he's got space. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw on that last play. The Utes come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Incomplete and very lucky that one wasn't picked off. But man, could they have used that? It'll be second down. All right, well, the quarterback showing you he is human after all. Finally throws an incompletion, and not just that. After a couple of completions back to back to back, almost throws a pick. Now second and ten. The gift to the right. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Boy, 
they love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Wilson to pass. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. This field goal unit getting some serious run. They've already been out there three times. A kicker will try it again. Going right down the boulevard. And now the lead is even bigger. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Wide receiver shows motion. Jet sweep, trying to get the edge. At midfield, he's got room. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And that's why you have to have the jet sweep in your repertoire if you're this offense. That receiver has tremendous speed. And he's so dangerous in the open field. You saw it on that play. BYU lines up quickly. Wide out in motion. From the gun, running back gets the give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Great job, great field. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intention. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat seeking missile. Off play action. Quick strike complete. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. You see, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the pass falls incomplete, and we play three. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Split the upright, it's good. That means the score. Utah, 34. BYU, 27. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Utah offense returns, ready to go back on the attack. Hand off to the single back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
They tried to get the defense going the wrong way with the counter, but nothing doing. Aggressive defense, attacking defense. You want to hit them with those counters, but it wasn't successful in this play. Defensive line, linebackers, everybody's dialed in. They see what's going on. They diagnose it, go downhill, hit them right in the middle of the field. Pulls and fires complete. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Now on first and 10 from the 27. He'll do it himself. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. And it's taken away by the defense, and they desperately needed that turnover. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Let's go. Talk about leaving the door open. Yes, please. You think they might run the clock out, run the football consistently? No, sir. They put it in the air. We forced the interception. Great job by the defense. When they needed it the most, they came through. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Looking to throw its threats left. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Trying play action. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown Cougars. And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action, you're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out, throws the football right behind those guys and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone. And at that point, it was just an easy pitch. Lining up for the PAT. And no problem on that extra point, and we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown time. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Utah has the back and the offense coming onto the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind. Some players can't do that real well. It leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think he can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Now on first down from the 30. Going to run it. It's Bernard. Couldn't find the lane. A pickup of one to the 31. Second 
didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Quick handoff. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. A third down try for the offense. Wilson will throw. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Now, fourth down. And the youths decide to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. He's looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down to the 24. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Fires to the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Offense gets set for second down. From the gun, the ground game. He'll push his way out to the 38, pick up a three. Stepping up to help this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete. And he was loose and not stopped until he gets to the 47-yard line. Well, that receiver, he knew he had to get his head turned around quickly. He's running the curl route against zone coverage, but he knows his quarterback is going to be firing that ball into him. It's a rocket pass. He's able to make the catch and get the first. BYU right back to the line. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. The running game on first down now back at it. Now the play fake. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Yeah, and sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window. And you just say, hey, defense won that rep. Good coverage. A field goal attempt from here would be 54 yards. They'd love to pick up a few on third down. Across the 25, he's got room. Oh, no, the ball popped out. This could change things. Bounced right back to them. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. BYU has this offense clicking. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision. He hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Power football with the run. Smashes through the tackle. Touchdown, BYU! They've got the lead here in the fourth. He has spent a lot of time in that end zone today. An absolute assault on the scoreboard. No doubt about it. And guess what? I get to make a lot of highlights. I, I can copy and paste all of these touchdowns, show everybody the game I had and the defense. Well, you're just going to have to shake your head because you've been getting dominated.
Getting set for the point after. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it off with a 14-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. It'll be a draw. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. Just a great job by the quarterback, the running back, the offensive line. Sneaky little devils. What do they do? Make it look like pass, sneak in the run, catch you off guard. Great play call by the offense. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Wilson to pass. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. Quick completion to the right. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The defense, man, it helps you a lot. You could be a linebacker corners or safety anybody and you see the QB throw the football now I can break up the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play got a little work done on first down now back to the line on second down they'll take to the air got it in the middle it's Keefe and good coverage by the defense just a short game you know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. Quick completion on the outbound. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Looking to throw it again. He's got his man. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with the first down. If you like the stats, and I know you do, He's over 400 yards passing now. Yeah, if they win this game, he's getting a game ball. There's no doubt about it. This guy has been on fire from the very start of this football game. He's just been throwing bullets all over the field. And guys, if they can somehow, some way, find their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth. Wilson will throw. He's got it. And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Trying to power it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal-to-go situations, Palmer. you got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here, just be I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone.
Lining up to add another. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. So they put together a nice play 75-yard drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points together, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Back to pass, it's Retzlaff. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. That is how you start a drive. Meet the physical challenge on first down. Rush the quarterback, get the sack on second down, and now put him in a third and long situation. Nice job by this defense. They've got them penned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Get it out on the screen. He's finally herded out of bounds. Really good pickup on third down, and still not quite enough to move the chains. You know good and well the quarterback wanted to push the ball down the field, wanted to throw for the first down couldn't do it because the defense had taken it away. He did the right thing. Didn't turn it over. Dumped it off to his running back. His running back brought some positive yards. But guess what? Now it's decision time. It's fourth down. Slips through the line. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take it. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. Got his man quickly. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Wilson to pass. They've got the screen set up. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. And I think if I'm a QB, I like the decision. I get it to my, my running back, who's really good after the catch and really good with the ball in his hands, but the defense did the job. They got him on the ground. They gave up some yards, but they forced the fourth down. The Utes will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Finds a little bit of space. He'll get three out to the 15. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He'll run it again. Pushed his way ahead. Really good run to get it out to the 20. A pickup of five. Let it bust for a long one. But now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole play goes short passing game, long passing game. All of it's a bit. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20.
They'll try to run for it. Gets the job done on third down as he gets it to the 25 before he's brought down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south. Get a first down. Get a new set of downs. The clock stops as we have reached the final two minutes of the game. BYU coming to the line with first and ten. He wants to throw. Finds his man down the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Yeah, this is simple pitch and catch. Quarterback and wide receiver have done this four million times in the offseason. He catches, waits for him to take a couple steps, boom, fires it right on his chest. They can complete this probably with their eyes closed. They've ran this route so many times together. Back to throw. It's Rhett's lap. And he dropped it, just didn't put the thing all the way in. Well, obviously here in the fourth quarter trailing, they're going to be throwing the ball, trying to get back in this game. Couldn't come up with it there on second down. We're expecting them to throw it here on third. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Grabs it in the middle. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of games. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. Looking to go up top on first down. Getting some heat. Pressure coming. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. He's going to pass. Looking left. It's caught. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Throwing the comeback looks like such a simple throw, but the timing is so important. And as a quarterback, man, this is all about trusting your guy. You know exactly where he's going to sit it down. You anticipate it. You throw it. You know he's going to come back and make that play for you. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. The give to the running back from the shotgun. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. you got to call the game to win it right now. Less than a minute to go. A field goal is going to do it for you. Every time you drop back and throw the ball, you're risking taking a sack. So if you're going to throw it, the ball's got to come out quickly. But I think at this juncture, you'd love to be able to run and give your field goal kicker a chance. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And the final quarter of regulation, we remain tied. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. That missed by the kicker. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. They'll try the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? 
All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays. Back and forth, who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Yeah. Tackle is made after a pickup of six down to the 19-yard line. Man, you played that whole game. Now it's coming down to, what, a couple of plays. It's in overtime. You're starting to move the ball closer to the opponent's end zone. Got to make a play. Got to protect the football. What's your go-to play after watching this whole game develop? Quickly complete. Tackle after picking up the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. A big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. I love the quick decision that QB made there on that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Wilson will throw. He's got it on the run. Can White lost the frame to get the six, but they'll have the first down. This guy's having a game that feels like half a season for some. He's over 450 yards. And he is so dialed in with his offensive coordinator and play caller with what they want to do and how they want to attack this defense. It seems like every single snap, he's read the coverage. He knows exactly where to go with the ball. Trying to get to it. Chucked it away just as he was hit. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. They'll try it again from the one on second and goal. They'll run it. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And down here near the goal line, you've got to be physical. And this guy's proven it today, Palmer. They've given it to him. He's put it in the end zone twice already. I'm going to keep featuring him. So you know the defense is going to be king him too, right? Because he's hurting them a little bit in this game already. They're going to be finding a way to try to get some penetration, anticipating this guy to touch it again. Touchdown, Utah! They strike first here in overtime. He has been surgical. Precision passing, using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Now to push the lead to seven in overtime. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Martin. And just a short and safe pass play. They pick up a few. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. Sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide. Dump him the football. Let him make some catches and see if I can't get some big plays out. Back to throw. It's Retzlaff. Fires to the wide out. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. I think receivers really 
separate themselves with body control. To be able to hang in the air, but stay in bounds and keep that foot on the ground. Unbelievable job catching the football and staying in bounds near the sidelines. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the grab. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. You can just see the command this guy has of the offense. He's been picking this defense apart, matriculating the ball down the field. He's now got him in the red zone, close to the goal line. I wouldn't be surprised if they just keep letting him throw it. First and goal as they try to answer with a touchdown of their own. They'll run it on first and goal. Touchdown, Cougars! They got it in the end zone. Now a decision to make with a point after. First off, really impressed by how physical this guy is still running the ball this late in the game. And now it's decision time. You want to play it safe, kick the extra point, or are you feeling aggressive to go for two points? And I think this is all about how you feel about your defense and how you feel about this game extending. Do, do I have a chance? Do I have better players? Am I more fatigued? Like, all this has to come into account because you've got a chance right now with one play to win this football game. This is like that two-foot putt. They still need to make it to force another overtime. And that kick was perfectly down the middle. We play on first down here in the second overtime period. They'll start this drive with a pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hill. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. That's a great example of the defense there, tackling the catch. As soon as the big fella caught the ball, down he went, not picking up the first. Short completion last play, let's see if they throw it again. To the air, it's Retzlaff. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage. And as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. This crowd knows when to bring it. From the gun, running back on the move. Aaron is trying to bash it forward. He got a couple of down at the 11. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. They'll keep it on the ground. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. They try to pop a run on the draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. They'll try to strike first with a field goal in overtime. Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. They'll try to put three on the board and take the lead in overtime. It is true as he puts three on the board. And now they regain the lead. Down by a field goal and a touchdown will win it. Let's see what they've got on first down. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Wilson to pass. On target. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. 
And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows, he can run slants, he can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle and unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Fast motion from the offense. Makes the catch. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, and hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback and wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play.